the same day, the same day in which a state institution, as the election commission said, this has been the most peaceful electoral campaign and electoral process in our history. The same day, there was a curfew. And this is not matching. Something is not, uh, something is happening because how can you say at the same time, you the state, because the election commission is the state. You say this is the most peaceful campaign in the, in the in our history and suddenly, without time to go anywhere, we have to, we have to call our teams to, to, be, to go to the hotels uh, without time to do it. To me, it's a useless and unnecessary curfew. And not matching with the excellent, excellent behavior of the voters along the day and along the geography of the country. And this curfew has tarnished uh, uselessly an overall excellent uh, process. The new administration and the uh, members of the media will have another occasion around January to engage again about the excellent health of your electoral system. Uh, I would like to ask you as to what was the reason given when they said there is curfew is going to be imposed and you didn't have much time to actually get back to your hotel. Was there a good answer to that, why they wanted to impose this curfew? Because we were also uh, really shocked as to why that was imposed and then continued again in the night till morning. You were less shocked than myself, I'm sure, <laughs> because you had the experience and the country has the experience of this curfew. No, we didn't ask for the reasons. Uh, the express uh, reason is to keep, uh, keep a peace that was present before the curfew. What I guess is that some of the contenders, they didn't protest because after this fear-mongering campaign, talking about the inevitability of the violence, probably some contenders were afraid that anything that happened is going to be attributed to us. And for that reason, there was no particular protest. And for that reason, I say, you have to close the gap between the people and the political elite. Because what happened is an assumption of the political elite of a bad behavior, a general bad behavior. Because if there are some groups doing wrongdoing, if there are some groups this is a police task. You have to tackle the problem when, where the problem is, if there are a group of people who do it. But the curfew is extending this, the, the suspects of bad behavior to the whole society.